everyone, welcome back to another video. We have finally got the Audi S1 on the channel. This has been highly requested since the last Audi S1 video and that was quite some time ago. Since then, a lot of things have changed. For those of you who don't know, I get most of my video ideas from you guys in the comment section. And if you do wanna see a video or you have any sort of ideas, let me know in the comment section down below if it has the most likes or if it keeps popping up and other people keep commenting the same thing i'll go ahead and make that video and that's where this video has come from from you guys you guys have been asking for an all mods video on the audi s1 pretty much since i started modifying it but this car is currently where we want it to be it's running a nice healthy figure there are a couple of modifications visually that we want to do and there are a lot of interior modifications that we would like to do luckily enough i've recorded the exterior shots because i don't want to get caught in that rain you guys like modifications that's why you're on this channel and this is an all mods video on the audi s1 so let's start off with wheels tires and brakes michelin pilot sport fives 225 40 18 all round Audi Coke bottle wheels. Normally they come on the 17 inch S wheels, but they just don't look too good. These are by far one of the better looking wheels for an S1. The only downside is they are expensive to buy now because they were an optional extra and they do have a fair bit of weight to them. AP Racing. Big brake kit up front. These are a six pot caliper. It's lowered on H&R lowering springs. Yes, you know, we could upgrade the suspension again to KW coilovers, but for now, this guy's used every day and H&R springs are just fine. Chameleon tint, quite controversial. This was done around two to three years ago now. It was a while ago, I know that. And if it was up to me, I would peel it off, but the other half wants it on. Side windows are being tinted, 70%, so legal and then the rears are tinted to 20%. Now moving on to the front, we've got the Audi RS style grille. This is the most common modification that you can do to one of these. Also, gloss black badges. Nice cheap modification and that is a wiper delete. Next up is the Remus Catback. This is a non-resonated system. It's valved and it's also got a Miltec downpipe. You can also see the gloss black diffuser. Normally on these cars, if you don't have black pack, these are like a silvery gray to match the front grills. So we had that painted to give it that more aggressive look, I'd say. 4D ghost plates by High Plates UK. Check out the video description and grab 15% off your order when using code R50. Now onto some power modifications. You've got the Ram Air open air filter. It comes with a heat shield, a hard pipe, and the turbo elbow. This is very cost effective, but it is an open filter, unfortunately, but it still makes the power. This is paired up with an IS38 turbo from a Cupra, a Turbo Smart blow off valve. We've also got a upgraded high pressure fuel pump. Higher and lower injectors have been changed for Golf R injectors. The S1 made a healthy 400 bhp and it was tuned by Devil Developments. The intercooler is ATEC's biggest intercooler. It replaces the crash bar or known as the Stage 2 intercooler. If you do have a car that you want on the channel, be sure to email me. My email is in the description down below. That will be featured on YouTube Shorts, check out the Mark 1 Golf video. It'll be something similar to that. And obviously, if we do end up doing it, I will take pictures for you as well. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.